hi family welcome to another interesting video of which today we are discussing on how hazabi tribe made their arrows for hunting The Hazar are the last functioning hunter gatherer in Africa. There are only just under 1000 Hazabi left. The Hazabi are not closely related to any other people. The recent research has shown that their NDA is the most divergent from any other human in the world, suggesting that they were the first or at least among the first surviving people to have split of the human family trees. The Hazabi are moving around in small groups consisting of around 30 persons which are 3 to 4 families. Like many predominantly hunter-gatherer society, they are predominantly monogamous though there is no social enforcement of monogamy. The division of labor between men and women is rather apparent. Whilst men specialize in procuring meat, honey, and berberine food, women also specialize in tubers, berries, and greens. However, women will also occasionally gather a small animals or egg or gather honey, just as men will occasionally bring tubers or some berries back to camp. The Hazab group typically stay at one place for around two weeks before moving to other areas. During the dry season, they build very simple temporal shelter from branches and leaves. During the rain season, they still stay in caves. Hazabi get their arrow hairs from members of the Tatuga tribe that are sharing grounds with them, whereas the Tatuga have learned how to recycle salt metal by melting them and casting arrow hairs, knife, and other metal tools concerning their tool making skills. The Hazabi still lives in Stone Age. On their arrow hairs, the Hazabi use poison that are extracted from the branches of the sharp Adenium castonium. Whilst the arrow head with the herbal poison can instantly kill a small animal such as bears or leg day, the poison effect will take longer with large animals such as kudus. As their consequence, the large animals which has been hit by a poison arrow can still run away several kilometers and it's up to the Hasabi people to read the animal strike on the ground to find it once it is going down. The Hazabi also use dogs to assist with hunting, however, this is a custom only recently adopted from other local tribes. Hi family, please we have come to an end of this educational video. If you are new here, remember to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to get our new latest updates.